since Martin Urtubis. Uh, I've been teaching at la CSPE since 2006. Uh, I'm an English teacher at the elementary level. I now teach grade one, two, three, and one class in grade four, one group in grade four. No technology, so it was very interesting to do this project. So in my class, I have a chalkboard. So I don't have any smart board yet. Uh, but in all the other classes, uh, there, is, there are smart board. Uh, so in the video that you will see, you will see me using a projector. Uh, so that's my kind of technology. So it proves that it's possible to, to do something different with your student, even though I don't have a smart board in my class. I would say that I'm, I'm a beginner with uh, technology. Uh, I'm trying to use it as much as I can. I'm also trying to learn it as much and as fast as I can because I want to be um, updated with my student. It's their life, so we have no choice but uh, using it. I think it's a, it's a great way and a different way to, to learn and to make English interesting. The LES was about uh, emotions. So uh, first we worked with the book, uh, The Day the Crayons Quit. Uh, so there's a lot of emotion. It's crayons who are unhappy with their um, owner. <laughs> so they're writing letters and uh, they are expressing how they feel. So we did um, a few mimes so they can learn about emotion. Happy, they know it, but uh, disappointed, worried, anxious, uh, proud, lonely. These uh, were uh, new emotions for them. Um, so we mined, then we did uh, riddles. watch a clip and they have to circle uh, different emotions on a sheet and we discussed about this and then we they play clickers um, so on clickers uh, we were asking them a few questions about emotions and they had to answer uh, with the card uh, there's also a part where um, we use Ed puzzle as well but with Ed puzzle it was not only about emotions, so that's about the sequence for this uh, this LES. The final task it, it was to write a letter to one of the crayon uh, and to express again an emotion and to apologize how they feel and uh, to be able to change the way they, they were acting before. I wanted to use flickers because I think it's a, it's a good way to make everybody participate, even the weak students. So that's why I wanted to use uh, flickers. Yeah. Remember when you see your name with a blue square? Adam, put your finger forward. Adam, yeah, too many fingers. Timothy, I can see you. Timothy? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. And Scarlett and Lily are absent. Okay, excellent. So now let's see if we got it right. So, is he angry or scared? So, That puzzle, um, again, it's uh, low tech, so they only have to watch uh, a clip and after the clip stop and there's a question and they have to answer it. Three, three, four, five, four, three, two. Okay, good. 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 Okay,
depending on the level you have, uh, you can use that puzzle in many different ways. So for me, it was to work it as a group and to exchange and maybe to talk a little. So at Puzzle, it's also a fun way. If you don't have a lot of technology, you can use a puzzle as well in your class. Uh, for me, the winning conditions are uh, to have time. And of course, the more technology you have, the easier it is uh, to create something interesting and to present it as well to your students uh, in the class after. And if they can have tools too, well, it's, it's good for them. But if not, it's still possible. Thank <laughs> you.